Don't skip this video. I'm gonna show you how to launch super fast WordPress sites using your own server and it's called FlyWP. So let's go check it out right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? I'm gonna show you how fast and easy it is to connect a server to FlyWP. Plus, you get all the added benefits that FlyWP has based on WordPress sites. So you get a bunch of bells and whistles that are based for WordPress. And those are things that you don't find on other server managers. Now, let's go jump over to my dashboard. Okay, and here's my dashboard and I have connected three VPS here from DigitalOcean. Now, the first thing I recommend is that you connect to your server providers so you can start creating servers inside of FlyWP. If you think that's hard, it's not, okay? I want to create a new server and you have options here. So you got DigitalOcean, Vulture, AWS, Akemi, and Custom. So I have previously connected to these server providers and I can create a server with a snap, okay? Or I can connect my custom VPS. So that means that if I wanna use any provider that has VPS and just connect it through the IP address, password, et cetera, and go ahead and connect. Now, to connect your provider is going to manage providers and you have available providers here. For example, I'll add a new provider. And let's just say that I need to connect to a different digital ocean company that I have created that's different from the one I have already. You can go ahead and connect it here. And when you create the server, go ahead and select the company that you want to use. You got Vulture, AWS, and Kami right there. All you need is the API token and it's gonna connect and you're good to go, okay? So let's go into servers. Again, I'll create a new server. So let's just say that I'm connected to DigitalOcean and I wanna create, wanna create a new server. So I'll just go ahead and select it. I'll use the credentials. I'll use one of these. Um, I'll just name this something really different just for testing purposes. I'll select the region, in this case, San Francisco. And then I can select the server size. So depending on the amount of traffic your site is going to have or the amount of load on the plugins or things that you're gonna do, it's the server that you're going to select. So you have all the options available here and it's gonna tell you how much it's going to cost per month. So in this case, I'm gonna select the cheapest one just for testing purposes. I'm gonna create the server. And here we go, it's gonna start creating my server. That's how easy it is, okay? Now, all we have to do is create new sites. So let's go back into my server list and I'll choose this one where I have two sites already. So I'll go select it. And you can see I have two sites here. Before I jump into these sites and show you the settings for each one of these, let me show you the all around settings for this section. So first of all, you view your sites. You can create SSH keys. You can see your databases here. You can open my PHP admin from here. So it makes it super easy. And you can disable it if you like, which I don't recommend, but you have the option, okay? Then the status for this particular server. So in this case, this server has a status of, it's using Ubuntu, Docker, the uptime for this, the CPU load, the RAM usage, the swap usage, and the disk usage, all from here, super clear to view. Then you have your settings. So in this case, we're gonna view the settings for this particular server. So in case the IP changes and you need to update it, you can do it from here, okay? Let's go back into sites and I'm gonna select this one before I create a new site. Go ahead and select it. And we're gonna have several settings that you don't normally see on server managers, okay? First of all, we got an overview, which is what I'm using, the HTTPS, it's enabled. Maintain this mode is disabled. The PHP version, caching, it's enabled fast CGI. Now that's a system that's installed on your WordPress site when you use FlyWP. Multi-site, it's disabled in this one, web directory, and the created by, okay? So first of all, we got our setting for page caching. So in this case, I have enabled. You can go ahead and disable it if you like, but obviously it's recommended that you use the cache plugin. It's gonna make your site way faster, okay? Then you have your SSL settings. By default, it's enabled. WP config. These are settings that you don't normally get with the server manager, but you have them here. You can edit these manually, or you can just go ahead and disable or enable what you want to use. So for example, if I wanna enable debug mode just from here, just go ahead and tweak this on, save settings, and you're good to go. Then you got your security settings. Again, something this is one I really love because these are settings that are gonna protect your, your WordPress site. And like I said, this is focused on WordPress sites. So for example, disable XML-RPC. These are really common sections of a website that a hacker is trying to hack. So enabling this is a good option, okay? And you can go ahead and enable and disable what you need to enable or disable from the security settings. Plugins and themes. Now, I also li I like this. So you don't actually, actually have to jump into the WordPress site to update your plugins. You can do so from here, okay? You can view the version and if you wanna update right now, okay? And same thing goes for the themes. You got your backup settings here. So add a backup provider. In this case, we have to connect to a provider and you have these four options for 
backing up to these providers. Okay, go back. You got your logs. You're going to be able to view them here. Then you got your settings. Again, for this one, so you got your domain name, the aliases. Do I want to allow a wildcard for subdomains? PHP configurations, if you need to change it, if you need to go up or down, you have the option here. Memory limit and max file upload size. These might need to be tweaked, especially when you use backup plugins or something like that. You'll need that. And you have more options here. Maintain a small clone a site, super easy from here, or delete this site all from here. Okay. Now you got two quick options that I really like also, which is one, go ahead and visit the site and two, jump into the WP admin. So you don't have to remember the WordPress, the email and password to jump into the back end of your WordPress site. So in this case, I am in the back end of my WordPress site. And one of the features that I want to show you here is that they have the fly WP cache system. Okay. So you can go ahead and enable, set the settings here and PHP OP cache disabled in this case. Okay. So you got that there. Let me go into the main site and here it is. Here's the main site, nothing fancy going on, but it's super easy. Now, if you were to launch a new site on fly WP, like I said, jump into this section, go into create a new site. We can name it our domain that we like. Now, if you are using a domain from a different provider, you have to connect it to the IP from your server. Okay. It's nothing fancy, super easy to do. So if you want to use test test.com, remember you have to connect your DNS to the IP of the server, or you have the option to use by WP test domain. So if you want to get started right away and create a site, enable this and it's super easy. Okay. Just go ahead, select the PHP version and you're good to go. If you're going to do it normally, this is what you need. Add DNS records to Cloudflare. So if you are using Cloudflare, the PHP version, enable HTTPS. Of course, you want to have that enabled. Go next. DNS settings. Remember, like I said, connect your DNS, the domain, to this IP address, which is tied to the server. Now, to proceed, you have to connect first the domain because it needs to connect, okay, to start the installation. But that's how easy it is to launch a WordPress site here on FlyWP. Now, the idea of this is to make things super easy and smooth when you are trying to connect servers, you don't want to make it complicated because overall, I mean, you got to take care of your BPS and then you got to take care of your WordPress sites. And this makes it super easy to launch WordPress sites with a server. Okay. Now to view the whole sites, go ahead and jump into sites and you'll view the list here. It doesn't matter which server it's connected to. You have a list right here. Then you got your support options here and basically you're good to go. That is FlyWP. And if you want to check it out, link we provided in the description. And that's a wrap.